Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> he can't play. Just kidding. He can play. I wonder if Ari's helping him with this. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit, neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. It really doesn't make sense. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. <laughs> nope. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. St It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. He's talking about Tripto. That drug. All right, time to review some more evidence. Let's see what we got in the victims. Probably the same shit. killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. It does actually match Ethan's description, but right now he's not very calm. Well, well, See, like it looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars nice. disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Let's watch this video. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? It could be. Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. Analyze this a little bit. The car was stolen. Let's see. 
a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, a long ass time but the ago. charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Jackson Neville. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. He's a big motherfucker. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right Chance now. Chance of looking for it. 